Okay, Taurus. Taurus, where you been? All right, Taurus, it's Lulu, and welcome to your Andy Reid here in the foyer. We got our Nag Champa burning over here. All right, so we're going to get into your Andy Reid, your Andy Reid, all right? What information do you have here for Taurus? What information do you have for Taurus, please? Look at it. Thank you. Oops. Hi, Taurus. Welcome to your Indie Read with Lulu, okay? And we're going to do your um, here in the foyer, all right? Hopefully the camera won't move, but we're going to go ahead and get into it. What do you have here for Taurus? It looks like it reset again. I don't know why it's been doing it lately. What do you have here for Taurus, child? Boom. There you go. Ooh, cute, honey. The sacral chakra coming in number one. Journey. All right. Goddess of the moon. All right. Rest and rejuvenation. What's holding the most weight? Community. All right. What else? The temple path. All right. What else? Indecision. Okay. Broken heart. Okay. And patience. All right, Taurus. Let's see what's going on. Y'all think y'all the second people that had this community card come through. All right. So this may be family, friends, or just a group of like-minded people that you got to be patient with. Um, you really have to take your time with because you have a decision to make. You have a decision to make. Okay. You have a decision to make when it comes. Like somebody is going to feel is going to be hurt when you make this decision. All right. Because you are choosing um, a different route, a different road. Maybe you are beginning to do things differently. Maybe there's a difference in religion or beliefs. But you may even go into a space where you um, really have to get yourself together. A meditative space is possibly what you will be going through. Now you're going through a meditative space, healing, after a journey, after a trip, this new beginning that's coming in. There may even be something here with this sacral chakra that has to do with your sacred science. I also feel that there's something um, with this nurturing energy, this creative energy, this, um, I don't know what I was about to say. Tibetan. I want to say Tibetan or something like that. But there's something here with your sacral chakra that is healing. Maybe you had some work done on your womb. Um, maybe you even been working over exerting yourself and you took time out to make self-care a priority. But I also get here is moving. Okay, I also get here that um, with this fool's journey that you are on, you may run into some people that run into uh, someone that you used to know here and you realize that you still have some type of feelings. Maybe it's a friend, whoever it is. You realize you still have some type of feelings or they uproot something in you that allows for you to really face um, a situation that had been rep repressed. Then you have goddess of the moon, the temple path, and patience. Be patient with yourself on this journey um, when it comes to this fool's journey, because I also see rest, rejuvenate, temple path, and journey in a um, triangle. 
All right. And then you have rest and rejuvenation, broken heart and temple path and an upside down triangle. All right. What is this uh, second chakra? Let's get these. Because, you know, I really have kept stopping. It's <laughs> yes. Today has got to have fun with it, day, okay? What is this second chakra here? The five of chemicals. Maybe tired, feeling lethargic, um, nurturing something here, creating something, having a change of heart, change of direction. And it may have to do with this group of people and this patience because with your process, again, five of swords, 55. So maybe people have been saying stuff about your mothering skills, about your nurturing skills, like people will try. I don't think that people know you well enough. People will try to say whatever coming for you, your spouse, your finances, coming for you, your body, whatever this is, just saying and doing the most, making you a target of a situation. You got to be patient. And I know that you to hear than not. What is this? Because uh, this community is at the forefront. So there may be a number of people that you are dealing with, have dealt with that have something to do with the things that will be transpiring in the near future. What is this journey card? The emperor taking a risk, a calculated risk to, you know, on this leap of faith. Um, just remember, ain't no, expect the unexpected. And you don't know what's going to happen or when it's going to happen. What is this emperor? The four of swords. Some, maybe you um, decided to move away or get away from someone who tried to keep you in a stuck um, mindset with that four of pentacles. But overall, I think you are in a space where, you know, you need to contemplate some things. You need to meditate and think about some things and you have to get away. Maybe somebody was overbearing. Because when you come back, you got a couple of decisions to make. What is this goddess of the moon? The eight of cups. Something is being revealed to you and it's like you can't believe this is happening, but, but you've had all types of um, information that comes through to let you know that it was going to happen, I feel, with that goddess of the moon. Very intuitive, um, but that's number 52. So maybe you lied to yourself about something or somebody lied to you with that 52, change, duality, and then it, um, it's an audit. So you audit your circumstances, audit your emotional needs, audited, you know, who you give what to. Instead of choosing escapism, you just walked away, got away from it, removed yourself from this circle, this situation, and had, a, and you will have another decision to make after this. Okay. What is this Eight of Cups? The Eight of Swords. You were caught up in um, the cabbage. You were caught up in seeing things a certain type of way. It may even be that you have to walk away from people who had limited thoughts, limited ways of viewing things. Um, people who are always negative, that could be it. Um, it looks shiny, but it's really dull type shit. What is this uh, rest and rejuvenation here for Taurus? The Nine of Swords. Yep. So any type of anxiety... Any type of anxiety, fear, stress, worry, um, things that you need to think over or it's time. To, maybe you have to put things on the back burner and really take time out to connect with the divine so that you can get your next move. Because this is the one moving into a nine, creating a ten. This is, you know, has to do with a cycle that you are ending, choosing to end or before it ends, some type of decision. You may even need, like maybe you had insomnia or maybe um, you've been deprived of sleep, right? Or deprived of your brain not trying to tell you every damn thing with that nine of swords. Maybe things have been a nightmare for a time and you have to really sit back and, you know, reevaluate, audit your life. What is this nine of swords? The two of wands. Making plans. In meditation, you receive a lot of information after you've done some deep contemplation and clearing and clearing the clutter. With that two of wands, uh, before you make your next move, you want to make sure that everything, all your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted. What is this community card? I have to listen to my uh, meditations.
what is this community card here for Taurus? I hope I didn't call y'all Scorpio earlier. The hangman, retreating from a group. Uh, maybe people around you want you to uh, martyr yourself or sacrifice yourself in some type of way. And it's like, you know, they have to learn how to be patient with you because of all this stuff that you got going on. Something is a broken clock. And it's like, you know, this clock may, you know, it's, you know how those clocks move? Um, you can hear them ticking, but they're not moving. The hands aren't moving. So somebody's hands aren't moving. Um, there's no type of movement, but there's a lot of heartbeat. So someone is just existing and failing to live. What is this temple path here for Taurus? The four of pentacles, reserve. Being pulled out of a situation in a spiritual sense. There's something here with uh, four pentacles that has to do with divine guidance coming in, you straightening up and doing things in a certain type of way. And it's like maybe you do an estate sale. Maybe you begin to get rid of a lot of things. Um, you're viewing things differently. Ooh. Maybe you're viewing things differently here with this uh, temple path. You're going to find something in the yard that has to do with um, something ancient. You may find something ancient in a yard or a yard sale. Be careful, okay? Be careful. What is this temple path, please? Ooh. Oh, sorry. The Ace of Pentacles. Shit. The Temple Pad, a blessing. An abundant blessing is coming through. You may even get um certain types of insects around you. You may want to look them up if you can even identify them. What is this indecision here? The Eight of Cups, did I make the right decision? Should I double back the Sun card? Okay, um, something is being illuminated to you about um, lack, scarcity. I'm gonna have to put on it. I cannot add this to the archive reads because what the fuck? That's crazy, man. The things people do to try to destroy you. What is this eight of cups? Trying to make a decision on should I stay, should I go? Should I end this for real or should I know? What is this broken heart? I feel like you may even be in a space where you feel like you broke your own heart or someone that you were dealing with a third party situation. Three of pentacles, all right? So there may have been a, a third party situation and you had to figure something out and make a final decision that's going to be your final say so. Four of swords and the emperor. You really had to stand up for yourself. You really had to protect yourself. Um, you really had to take charge of this situation before it got out of hand. Damn. Take charge of this situation before it got out of hand. What is this four of swords? The hierophant. It's like you want high levels of commitment. You want... Uh, ooh, uh, not deodorant. That is so good. You want high le a higher level of commitment. You know what you want. You've done a lot of contemplating, a lot of thinking it over. Queen of Pentacles, and you're going for it, right? You know what you want in your home. You want. You know what you want in your relationships. You know what you want in your job. It's like you figured a lot of stuff out. You have a lot of tools that you absolutely positively will be using. Someone may not have made you a priority, or they feel like you should have made them a priority instead of taking off to heal yourself or get your mind right. Um, Y'all getting a lot of um, angelic reinforcement all around you. There are dragonflies. You may even start seeing shapes and clouds. What is this uh, broken heart? Temperance and the three of cups. So this may be a third party situation or just a group of people. And it just you just have to figure something out. Yeah. The four of cups and the nine of wands. Reevaluating a certain day, a certain thing that was done. A certain play, reevaluating it to the point where you know it was apples and oranges. Okay, this shit hurt. 
Taurus, y'all got to remind me not to put this on the channel. What is this patience card? Two of Cups. Be patient. The connection that you want is coming through. Write it down. Script it. Um, you know, reevaluate your connection to people as well. Somebody is going to message you. A King of Wands is going to message you. So you got the Page of Swords. See that? You got the Page of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Page of Wands. And somebody may see something that you put on social media. Um, I think somebody may be trying to see if you are single. All right. So you got the, maybe this is someone that works, um, goes to school with you or works with you. Um, it's some type of exciting news here. It may even be about a child, teenager, or a young child uh, writing it up. Somebody even may have um, took back. If somebody was written up at work, they, it's been taken back. It was false. This King of Wands is coming in, though, and I feel as though they are very. Um, they move a lot. They do a lot. Whoever this um, King of Wands is. They do a lot. Some of you even have a child that is very mature. You have a child that is very mature, okay? One more card for uh, Taurus, Ace of Swords. Be patient. The information that you need, the message um, that you need is coming through. What you've been waiting for, you are going to see and hear. All you got to do is be patient. That's it. All right? All right, Taurus. I love y'all. Let me go fix it.